Hey guys, it's your favorite animatronic girl, the Dark Jerry here. And today we are on Frostpunk. To get an actual game going where we've got the full story and all of that. We're going to start with A New Hope. We're not turning on all of that. We are going to put everything to easy. Just because I have a hard enough time on easy. So, <laughs> it's really hard to keep people's needs met, you guys. Also, guys, stay tuned later on in the day for, of course, Scared and Alone, my multi-stream of solo player phasmophobia. If you like watching me die to ghosts, not find anything, fail consistently, and occasionally find the ghost. And if not, watch it just to see how often I get killed. I mean, that's the best way to watch it. It's kind of like watching my 64 Lucky Blocks. You know you only watch it to see how often I get trolled by the Lucky Blocks. Come on. Pride and glory. <laughs> it feels as yesterday. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm insane. Stopped it all. Suddenly. Or at the very least, nuts. <laughs> you know, you guys. The tides have changed. Also, guys, if you are new to the channel, us, no matter wealth or class, please remember to subscribe. Smash that thumb until it is blue. Enjoy your ballot stuff. So you can be notified of my next amazing video. Now this game does have a really interesting, um... Frozen style apocalypse, where like the whole world went to hell for some reason and froze over. Came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. Now, why would you head north if the world is starting to freeze over? Maybe months. Here's a dumb question for you. Behind all the things we once Wouldn't you want to head south? Where there are still bands of heat? It was hope. Pushed us forward. Slowly. Step by step. We knew the cost of our journey. And we paid the price. A hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Ooh, it's not the last city on Earth. Actually, it does turn out to be, I think. Or it turns out to be one of, like, very few. Okay, in New Home, we fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. Ooh. Scary. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat. Blah, blah, blah. I already know that. Shut up. So, let's go ahead and max that out that out okay so let's sign our first law sadly it's gonna have to be child labor because we just desperately need the help for it right now All right, let's go ahead and turn this on.
And then I'm not gonna speed through any of the days. Um, I will speed through night times. But I won't speed through the days, guys. That way we can just kinda see how our workers are doing and things. We need to get housing built. Oops. Shoot. I've got a huge channel way that's just sitting there. That's fine. I can use that for like a roadway and then we'll put like a a heater or something. Um the steam towers. The expansion towers. We'll put one at the end of that so we can expand the heat range and radius outwards by one ring. At least for that location. Right on. Okay, so now we need food. So let's get a hunter's hut. Out there. Okay, so we got nine houses and only 80 people, so we should be okay for now. It's getting into the afternoon of our first day, guys, which is great. And like I said, I'll just kind of plow through the um, overnight with the um, speed up effect. So far, everything's looking good, guys. <coughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cough and stuff right in the microphone, God. And then, sorry I haven't put out a live stream um, on Saturday or Sunday, guys. Um, I was taking a break for the weekend. I just kind of really needed it. But thank you for being understanding and patient with me. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Alright, so now it's officially the start of night time for the end of shift, so we're going to go ahead and let it speed till 5 o'clock in the morning, which is where it'll do an auto stop. Make certain we get at least 10 guys out there for that. Get our cookhouse out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and emergency shift. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. And then we need to put down a medical post. Which we will need five engineers for. Alright, so mornings are currently going.
Oh, see, I could have done that. Let's go ahead and put these guys back. Let's take these five instead. Go. Now we've got a medical post. Get a resource depot built. And start building our streets. We'll make this a double road here. We don't want to overburn resources, so building too many roads would be bad. I know we're out of wood. We won't be out of wood here shortly. Just chill out. <coughs> alright. We are doing alright, you guys. Gathering post out here. Have to wait till we get more wood gathered. Which is fine. There we go. We're doing all right, you guys. Now, this is a ki kind of a time-consuming game, guys, so we may spend quite a few Mondays doing this one. I'm going to start putting this one out specifically on Mondays as a video. Um, we are going to do most, most days I will do live streaming for multi-stream, guys. So, if you aren't already part of my Twitch stream, jump over to Twitch. Look up the Dark Jerry underscore gaming. Or the Dark Jerry underscore entertainment. Either way you'll find me. <laughs> um Yeah. Go ahead and give that kid a day off. That will help the child and raise hope a bit. But um We will definitely start getting things a bit more scheduled. Um, also, thank you guys. We we're at 104 subscribers. That's awesome. We were up to 108, but somehow we lost five subscribers um, over a Minecraft video that I posted that was a revisit to Snowstorm Simulator. Um, of course, what you guys don't understand is that I am um, currently on the Discord general server with Everbloom Games and talking to them about new maps and things. So, like, there was a reason that I did that. Not to mention, the Redstone Scientist was literally the first person from Everbloom to subscribe to my channel, guys. And I really like him a lot. He's a very good person. He makes some amazing maps. And so I didn't understand why we lost people over that. You know, I understand to each their own. But again, I can't believe I have to bring this back up again. 
why leave my channel over one thing you didn't like? Does that make sense to anybody? Because it's certainly not making any sense to me. You know? So, <laughs> I just, I'm not understanding it, guys. Like, it's just, for some reason... Every once in a while, I guess, we just get these people who I put one video out they don't like, and instead of sticking around and seeing if something they do like comes out next, or saying, I didn't really like this one, so I hit dislike, um, could you play blah 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 and give me a request for a game? Well, then I would do that. <laughs> but if you don't request anything, I'm just going to keep playing th the things that I like to play. Let's make this one for Cole. I mean, it it's just kind of silly, I guess, to me. go getting roads connected once this gets built we can shift some of the workforce to that gathering post which will cover this coal pile in here this coal pile is almost depleted so we're gonna go ahead and speed through another night and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the video once it hits the 5 a.m. mark There we go, getting the gathering posts loaded up and hit 5 a.m. I'm going to speed up to the start of the work day. Oh, that works. Better have a day off, that's totally fine. Let's get our next law. Um, so let's go ahead and go with a cemetery. right there we do need to build a workshop before we leave all together so we'll put that there and that pretty much burns us on resources so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here we will get on to this next Monday Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys. You're awesome. And, as always, this is the Animatronic Girl, signing off. I love ya. Bye.